while standing like that, because the Acts of the Apostles, Acts chapter number 1, verse 4 to 10. And this is what the Bible says, And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You have heard from me. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Now when he had spoken these things while they watched, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, verse number 11, who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? He said, Jesus was taken up from you into heaven, will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Our Father, this morning our hearts are open. Lord, we have no debate about loving you. We have no debate that you are coming again. We have no debate in our hearts that you are the Lord of Lords, the Lord of Kenya, the Lord of Zimmerman, and the Lord of my house, and the Lord of our lives. We open up our spirit that you speak to us today in Jesus name and everybody say amen. amen give your name a high five if you have good five men or women around you tell them welcome to the house of the Lord tell them they look great hallelujah amen of course you know today that uh, some of us are not here they are in the encounter and great things are happening let's come in the afternoon to receive them. Hallelujah. If you are a 55 and above, would you stand? 55 and above. We are glad that you came to worship with us. 55 and above. Anybody 55 and above? Up to 120 and 30? That's all right. That's all right. I know some of you are 89, but it is okay. Let's all stand up. Let's appreciate God for giving us such a people in the house. Let's appreciate them. We are glad you chose to worship with us. The Lord bless you. Are remaining standing like that? Let's get some warmth. Let's get some warmth. Warm if you are 45 to 55, please stand. Let's warm these guys. 45 to 55, let's stand up and warm these guys that were standing before us. Let's appreciate them. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. What a team. 25 to 45. That's not that's a church. Now 25 to 45, that is the church. Now 25, now that is where the church is. Eh? Eh? 245, isn't it? Here in your church. You know what to make this Amen. If you are 14 to 25, stand up please, 14 to 25. Now, they don't know what you are holding. You are the potential dynamic of this country. You are the CEOs that are coming in the making. You are fantastic people because where you are, you are mapping up. These guys are mapped. The guys 55 and above. Even if they got their PhD, actually nobody will employ them. And now we say, how old are you? At 70. Oh, thank you very much. Then we, we, we want you to be a bootman. Where we are to. But the guys 25 uh, and below, those are the people that we value. We want to appreciate them. Let's appreciate them again. In the presence of the Lord. I know when you are a visitor, you stood in all that. When you stood when we talked about those uh, grandma and grandpas that are in the house. Or maybe you never stood up. You know, there are some people who say, Maybe this is Mami. again. That's okay. Now we want to welcome our visitors, please. If you are visiting us for the very first time, hallelujah, for the very first time, I want you to stand up. Visit us for the very first time, please stand up. We want to appreciate you in the house of the Lord. Visit us, 30 first timers. First timers. First timers. Hakuna? 
Uh, Judge Leo, oh, thank you. Thank you at least. There is somebody who will be praying for you. They are almost wondering, Mambiang wa Jajibiwa, but we have this as our visitors. Let's welcome them. Pima, Pima, Pima. Akusha, Tena, Tena. The Lord bless you. Thank you for coming. We appreciate you. And the after the service, there's a place prepared for our visitors. Please join, join us there. Of course, one of the people that has visited us is not a visitor, but is an old friend of this church, a member of this church. And uh, normally they come and hide themselves, but I have seen when they come this time, they don't hide themselves because I want to see them. Hallelujah. Let's welcome Beatrice Wainena to say, to say, come. Beatrice, thank you for all that you gave us. Please come. Uh, Beatrice is not new, this is her church, but you know she got married and she's in thick at those sites. But when she comes, she hides herself. So I told her this week, Ukija Usijificheko. Wewe ni meona meka na marangi sister pale, so the marangis are in the house. These are the colorful ladies of our church. Go ahead, Beatrice. In my kind of attack, we'll get to why I'm not scared, Beatrice. I'm not scared, Beatrice. The father in you too. See, we'll go ahead. Yeah? It's on. That is on. Yeah, let's hear Beatrice. Praise God. Yes, now I wear no clothes. Because of change of status. Whoa! All right then. Beatrice Wainena, that is my father, and I love the Lord. And uh, I know I've been meeting most of you, and I still love the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Beatrice. Amen. This morning I'm going to, uh, to Sukawa Sukari. They had asked me to go and flag off their work. But one thing the pastor did not know is that the chairman and the committee had planned something. They had a plan of a fund drive. So we arrived there at 7.30, and there was a harambe, and around 8.15, I flagged them off, and I came back. I was driving back, uh, in a speed about police were getting fought up with Do you have a sick person in the car? Uh, but, I said, but nobody did that. They are going to walk, and I, one of the things that I, I told them is that we can beat them in volleyball. That's what I told them. But I also told them they can beat us in running and walking. Because those guys do exercise every Saturday, the whole church. They go there, they do that, they do that and run about 10 kilometers. Every Saturday. And some of them come at 6 on Sunday again to run so that they go fresh enough, come to the service. But I pray that uh, our team, 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 our team managers and team coaches, please help us also to do some jogging together because it helps, uh, you know. As they told us to warm up for the walk, you know, and uh, you know they are doing all that. Some of us are feeling, Ay! and the guy is saying, <laughs> but they have walked. And you know the other thing is that even small children, they have six kilometer walk, and 10 kilometer walk and 17 kilometer walks. And I also told them there are some guys in them that can walk 20 and above because they are so energetic and so let's pray for them. They are charged. You know, I got embarrassed the Joseph a little bit because I was in their sanctuary and they told me they have spent 20 million. They are worshiping in it. And we have that. That the four, that the five. We are still worshiping. Na ikinyesha, unaeli ya pale, mutaazi kutoroka. I felt a little bit embarrassed. Ata kumention the figure they have. Kwa zambi yao ni 20, na wamefika pale, na yetu ni, yani tukiwapatia, wataweka vitu za ajabu, wata hata haenda walk. And then the church is also big. I was so blessed. Hapo nimetoka nikisema, yote ya weze kana, kwa imani, yote ya weze kana. So when we will break the ground, when that time comes, to break, after two, three months, 
turudi kwa chaji yetu tuwe tukabudia kwa chaji yetu wherever that uh, will be but for this one i hear the plans are up kwa sababu mabati hii kulipeana kitambo na kama hatuitoi hatutapewa yetu i know you never got what i said you know you cannot be dip utaweka wapi kwa hivyo hii lazima iende na mbao ili tupate chuma ya kuweka mahali hapa bwana yesu apewe sifa kijana mmoja alikuwa anacheza baano mabo na kulikuwa na kakisichana nako kalikuwa kumenuliwa tukalikuwa na tukeki twingi sasa wakaanza kuongea kasiana kakasema nipatie mabo zako zote na mimi nitakupatia keki zangu zote kakijana kakaenda kakaficha tatu kakaleta hizo zingine zote Hewa kwa msichana kakaleta keki zako zote Kapatia kijana But the little boy could not sleep that night Akatana, katana, katana, katana What do you think caused the boy not to sleep? Guilt I was guilty? Okay Somebody else? Alikuwa na? Esi mnisaidie kwa ana Munafikiria kwa nini haku lala? Alikuwa na zikine tatu wameficha. Hiyo ni guilty. Hiyo ni guilty. Eh? Over eating. Alikuwa keki sana nyingi mbaka akawa. Do you think so? Eh? Yes sir. Yes madam. Now this lady is right. Why the boy could not sleep? Was wondering. Out of what she gave me, how many of those other cakes has she hidden because I've also hidden some? <laughs> but I have some good news for you. And the good news I have for you is that we have one, when we bargained with him, he gave himself fully to us. And that is our Savior Jesus Christ. I know some of us want to give some, but we hold out something else, isn't it? We want to give ourselves, but I'm only on one side. But we don't want to give ourselves in every side. There's a story in the Bible about this young, uh, rich man. I, I don't know why the Bible says he was rich, but then added also he was young. Young in the digital, now he was rich. Amen? He was rich. But he came to Jesus and said, Master, there are two things that I want. One, I want to go to heaven. I also want to follow you. Both are things that I want. And then the Lord looked at him and he went religious way. Tell your neighbor religious way. Religious, religious way was to ask him, you know all the commandments. And the guy said, I know all of them. Mention one. Because the guy, in terms of religion, that boy was number one. So the boy said, I am okay, even on all those. Then the Lord looked at the boy and discovered the boy was suffering from some attitude. So he tells the young man, go sell everything you have and give it to the poor. And the Bible says, the guy went home sorrowfully because he was rich. Now the question that I have asked myself every time I read that is, uh, is the Lord asking all my wealth? Is the Lord asking everything that I have? In actual fact, another story is given of a church in Mexico. And the preacher preached, you know, a sermon one day. And everybody was moved because it was given. And he talked about Barnabas. He talked about how, how Barnabas gave. He talked about how Asafira and Ananias gave and they died. And the people who felt, oh, no, no, we need to give. So they gave their, a lot of their properties. They gave their, their mortgaged houses and so on. So the church the store had a pile of titles for land and everything. So the pastor looked at that, then he discovered something. If we take all this, then it means all these people will be homeless and they will have no place to go. So the pastor went back to church and said, now come, now that you have given to the Lord, now I want to give you back, but no, it belongs to the Lord now. Take care of it, it belongs to the Lord. So people took back their mortgage and houses because the truth was that what they owned, that's the message, 
They belong to God in the first place. Even now, they still belong to the Lord. Our attitude is very, very crucial. Religiously, we could be perfect. But how about our attitude? How do we relate? How do we hear God when He wants us to release something within us and give it to the Lord? The message that I have for you, unfortunately, it will not, because I came very early and left very early. So it will not be there. So if you miss what I'm saying, buy the, the DVD. Maybe they can reduce the price for you. <laughs> you can tell them it is because they will hate the house. But I want to talk about the four facets or faces of God's influence on your life. You can also call it, if you like, your sphere of influence. Or you can call it, when you can't, God still can. There are many, many other uh, things that you can call that. But I want to call it for your own, uh, the four facets of God's influence on your life. It is recorded one time the graduation of some police in, the, in New York. After the graduation, the day they were graduating, an hour, a few minutes after the graduation, there is an officer that left the podium where they were graduating. And as he walked, he saw someone being mugged and being stolen something. And he ran and arrested the guy and put him in. The commissioner looked at that and said, now we have a boy here. He was 23. This boy is going to go places. He had just finished his master's in political science, but he chose to go to uh, the police wing. By the way, America has carried left over. Now that takes me to a point. If I was the president, all the police officers should have a degree, or if not, then I pay them well. So that if you are staying in Mozaika, you live in Mozaika flats. In Mozaika. Not you, you know you are an officer for Mozaika, but you live in Komongo, Korogosho, in a tinder house. Because when I go to the US, that's what I see. If you are in a affluent place like where Mugo Joroge lives, there is an officer who parks a 99 in his door. Two of them. Now you are affluent. Pari wa dosu wa naishi. Yani, iyo area, akisikia nyui, hataki hongo yako, wana moja, wanza anachikaka hata hawa wakina mbogo hapo. Ukifana kayuta na hapo. Sir, can I have your driving license? And then you want to approach it. You're my neighbor. No, 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 sir. Can I have your driving license? Hakuna unangatia kidogo na kambia, would you come out? with your hands up and lean against your car. Yeah, very, very serious. You know, <laughs> when, when Kiroko, Kiroko is a friend of mine and his neighbor also. So one day Kiroko did that and he was arrested by his neighbor. So I know, I'm smiling. No smile, serious business. Uh, can I have your driving license? Now I'm saying this, when that officer arrested this man, what he was exercising was the authority that he had just received. He had just graduated in a couple of minutes and he was using his authority to arrest this murder. And the murder he arrested had just been released a week before. He was arrested for murdering other people. What I'm saying is that from where we are when Christ redeems us and, and, and shapes us, he gives us the authority and the power Tell your neighbor power. power. Tell your neighbor power. power. Tell him like you mean it, power. power. So it is, it is important for us to know that the Lord gives us power. And the passage that we read, a very, very interesting happening. Jesus is just about to go. He has appeared to them and he is just about to go. But he takes them, he walks with them for a little while. And the Bible says that being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you have heard from me. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. In other words, he was saying, once you receive the power, then you will be my witness. When you receive the power, you are going to be my part for demonstration. You are going to demonstrate. When you receive the power, your life is going to be different. 
When you receive the power, you're going to walk in a different pattern. You're going to be a man, a woman of influence when you receive power. Notice Jesus said, we have been given power and he said we shall be witnesses. It says when we become powerful, when God releases power to us, we shall be witnesses. And he named specific areas, geographical cities, geographical regions, and the apostles were going to be witnesses to those areas, and we know they did when the Holy Spirit came upon them. And I believe the scripture teaches that God also has an assigned purpose for every one of us. You and I have an assigned uh, something. God has assigned you something. You don't just live for the sake of living. God has assigned you some pastors feel called to a specific church in a specific location. And it is true also that you come to a church, you, you also feel called to do specific jobs and responsibility because that is the, the, the direction and the purpose that the Lord has for you. Missionaries, they sense a call to a certain people, a place to serve. Like in Kahama uh, Sukari, we had our missionary in Malsabit. Of course, he never asked me for the Mabatis, but I know he needs the Mabatis. And I know maybe that I greeted me very well. And I said, oh, bless you, Brown. You are here, eh, missionary? Missionary went to. Where he has gone, can I be honest? I'm going to invite Marakada. He is going to be a good one. 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 He is going to be so he has invited me many times and I felt <laughs> but anyway, one of these days, one of these days, I have to pray to the God of heaven who keeps my mother there and the people in that country. But it's a different kind of a gift, isn't it? It is a different grace that God brings to them. And I believe we are so-called people and God has given us influence to go to that place. Second Corinthians 10 and verse 13, uh, if you go up to verse number 17, it says this, We, however, will not boast beyond measure, but within the limits of the, spe the sphere which God appointed us, a sphere which especially includes you. For you are not overextending ourselves as though our authority did not extend to you, for it, it was to you that we came with the gospel of Christ. Not boasting of things beyond measure, that is, in other man's labor, but having hope that as your faith is increased, we shall be greatly enlarged by you in our sphere. To preach the gospel in the regions beyond you and not to boast in any man's sphere of accomplishment. But he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. For not he who commends himself is approved, but whom the Lord commends. So the Old Testament, the Old Testament, the Ark of the Covenant was filled and wherever it is surrounded, it had the presence of the Lord. And in the New Testament, Jesus of Nazareth, wherever he is, is filled with the presence of God. So after the ascension of Jesus, the body of Christ, the church, you and I, we have been filled with the presence of God. That means you, you are the carrier of the presence of God. With this in mind, that you are the carrier of the presence of the Lord, then we look at the four facets or the four truths to remember about your Christian sphere of influence. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. Point number one, the anointing of the Holy Spirit can exert a sphere of influence. The other day we were reading, there's a book my wife is reading and we read an article that, uh, talking to the parents. And they said, parents, now we need to pray that our children will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Because if you re read the prophecy of joy, there are things that the, the Lord said that there, that at the last day I'm going to pour my spirit upon all flesh. The young men in particular, there are some things that are going to happen. You see the old men, ours is to dream. 
<laughs> dreams. And I think if you are sitting there to observe, what is a lot of a lot? But young men are told to do certain things. You know, God gives them the power to 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 to, to see visions and you know to, to prophesy. It's so dynamic. And that is the kind of prayer that we need to pray for our children, that God will fill them with the power of the Holy Spirit. So the anointing of the Holy Spirit can exert a facet of God's influence. Like Jesus, we should desire our lives to be surrounded by the presence of God. The Bible talks about Peter, his shadow. Whenever he walked, people will follow the shadow and they'll get healed. The Bible talks about this woman with an issue of blood. She said, if I touch, and she did. When she touched the garment of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says she was healed. The influence. There's another story that is given, and I want to read you this story. It is from the church, the holiness, the holiness of God, church. So a well-known professor, Goffa, was playing in a tournament with the President Gerard Ford, fellow prof, uh, pro, uh, Jack Nicholas, and Billy Graham. We know Billy Graham. After round was over, one of the other pro on the other two were asked, hey, what was it like playing with the President and Billy Graham? You know, to... The pro said with disgust, I don't need the Billy Graham stuffing religion down my throat. With that, he headed for the practice tea. His friend followed, and after the coffer had pounded out his fury on a bucket of gold, balls, he asked, Was Billy a little rough on you out there? The pro sighed and said with embarrassment, No, he didn't even mention religion. Are you getting the point? No, maybe you didn't. <laughs> Remember this person that you have gone with for tea and you bought them lunch? You see, and when they ask, how was the lunch with the bishop? He said, bishop? Very disgusting. And then somebody is asking, did he preach to you so much? He said, no. The guy could not even talk about church. Now it is very, very embarrassing if that statement is made for you. Because wherever you are, you are supposed to influence. I don't know whether you are getting the point. You are supposed to influence. So Billy Graham had said nothing about God. Jesus or religion. Yet the pro stormed away after the game accusing Billy of trying to run religion down his throat. Now the point here is this. Although Billy never said anything, his presence. So you come out here and I'm going to have a little bit of a cigar and a gym. Keep it in your Come on the influence, Jacob. Ah, my goodness. And what I'm saying, may the Holy Spirit of God come upon you and you become such an influence that wherever you are, people feel the presence of the Lord. Sometimes I don't have to say anything. Sometimes it is my presence that will put shivers in the lives of other people. When the Holy Spirit of God has come upon us, may the Lord release an influence in us, a powerful influence, a powerful influence. Lakini ukiona mtu anakunywa sigara mkiwa naye na umemwambia umeokoka. Can I tell you something? Au na influence. Vijana, ukiona jamaa mnatembea nao anaweza kufungua pombe na kunywa na kerosene one another wasichana na wanawake na vijana na huko pale na umeambia umeokoka. Ujue wewe wewe hauna tuthi. Hata kitoko Sitai kusema utupwe chini ukanyangu chini. Lakini mbuna hata. Influence. Influence. I don't know how I can explain influence. John C. Maxwell talks about a church he went to preach. The first church he went to preach. And in that church he thought he's going to change the church and the... Uh, change everything, the piano and the keyboard and everything. He thought he would change the carpet and so on. So the first meeting with the boat, he called the boat and he wanted to change the carpet. So 
There was a Mr. Cloud. Mr. Cloud was the influence person. He was the influencer. Yani ule mtu akisema ona bila sema hivi amesema. And he was a farmer. So the, the pastor hapa amechukua charge to oh, thank you for receiving me. Now I want to change the carpet. Uh, he meka sana taeka ingine. And then Mr. Cloud was still looking at him and then he said, "Pastor, are you finished?" And the pastor said, "Yes." Then Cloud said, "Let's vote for it." How many are for it? None. How many are against it? Oh, Pastor, can you pray we go? And Pastor prayed. Akaema. Then when he went home, he discovered, aha, uh -huh, my man is Cloud. That's my man. He never fought with him. You know, there are some of us pastors when you're taking a new place. Kiri chakwaza ni kugonga waze, kueka wote kwa box, hiri wote wa zembe vili unataka. Hiyo, hiyo haina maana. Kuna moja niliona tukisoma paka, likuja kafikiria tabadilisha PNG. Tukabiana, huyu ni mjinga sana. Amekuta ngoma zikipigwa na ngoma lazima zipigwe kwa PNG. Iwe bahati, iwe mombasa. Nanielewa? Hili tututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututut
Angels can exert a sphere of influence. Angels. The book of Hebrews tells that angels are God's ministering spirit sent to minister to us. And all through the Bible, we find God used angels to minister to his people. Angels. 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 I know, I know the problem of some of you is that when we talk about angels,
Then we started the church. And life was actually tough. 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 I don't know. Some of you go through tough seasons. Like I said last Sunday. Tough. Sometimes you fail. That was so tough that uh, up, up to a point that I don't want to go home. Because I'm not going to go home. I'm 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 going to go home. Why I did not want to go home is because there was nothing. And I had told God and we had agreed with my, with my wife. No member of our church should know it. Not even the leaders. None of them should know. Because if he has called us, then he will supply. And, I, from, I, I, and I've always said, even in church here, the leaders, others, leaders know that, that I don't struggle with my salary. Ever. I don't ask for it. What I'm given, I take me thanks. And I bless them. Maybe some of you think I ask. Ask the leaders. I don't even pursue them. At By the way, it doesn't bother me at all. Why? Because of what I learned there. Si ni mekaa pale na kama kusweka ni kani. Ni merudisha jamani kwa ni merotea viyombo, buruburu, ki ni merudi pale. Saa tisa na nusu. Nikafikiria wacha sasa niende nyumbani, watoto wameria kama walikuwa wakiria, wamerawa. Tulikuwa tumeomba asubuhi mungu kwa ikurahimu, tukumbuke, tukumbuke. Hallelujah. Lakini, Nilifikiria nitakubuku wa pale. You know the way you can be waiting. Mutu wa nisalimie penekozo handi shiki pale. Kwa za wadiko niko na power. Nobody. Wadugu wota walienda hati taruhudu na karumanu wakaenda kwa. Niko pale tu. Nimebati pale. Nothing. Maka nikasa masaza niende ni mbali wa tutu wa mbaliwa. And when I got home, isi nyumba za zimba mani. Wacha isi za kisasa. Sasa mani zilikuwa zime jengwa ni mba hile tu. Bili mbele. Bili nyuma. Za mbele zina kiti zake. As I was in a gate, I was in a gate. 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 I was in a Tukaka, sinashara. Sinashara na nusu. Saa mawati. Ambia Alex. Hebu ni angalia hii mzigo. Lindi hiko nani. Nika fungua, nika kuta kuna mchele, kuna unga, kuna sukari, kuna majani, kuna maziwa. Yani, bitha. Nika zingiza kwa njima. Nika sema, muanze kupika hizi, mwenyewe ya kija. Tukadiri na hii. Nime mkoja miaka thati, ata kuja, who is that? That was a messenger sent to me. And I'm talking to people who God has sent messengers to them. Now appreciate what God has done. Because God can exert some influence by sending angels on your direction. Hallelujah. Amen. Mungina na kuta kwa mkao, mesha kulo, kumaliza unaambiwa, imeripua. Na nani? Nisha ripua. Na yu natafuta nani ya meripua, kwa hivyo unafikiria. Hata unaweza mwambia waita. Ni yu nekua pala karanja? Ya, pana karanja badu wata yuko pala. Ni unyango? Pana si unyango badu wanakuna pala matunda yake. Ni nani? Nisha ripua. May the Lord send angels. Amen. They are just messengers to come and influence your life. Amen. And exert some influence. So that you can know. Like I have always said, our security actually, our security. Security yet in a talker. Our security. My security. And I pray that God will help this country. Like uh, someone was saying, we pray for wisdom. Because America, the issue of security, see mambo ya kuzungumzo wa pamatanga. Either for or against. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mm. Because it weakens the nation. 
And the people out there, when they see it, they know if we cannot, since if you're gozi, then down there, hakuna usalama hata kidogo. Na wakisema, watu wa sikuje, tunapiga kerele sena. Oh, kwa nini wamesema? Tunazungumza kwa matanga, tunazungumza kwa maharusi, tukienda kandisani, hata hako nimetoka. Patia politician, like Kabiri, security. Security should be security. Security should be security. So that what can I that uh, Moses told us that we have some of us that are here giving us security and they are armed. And some of you want to is that security anymore? It's not secure. Where? UK, but you're UK. So that you're UK. Back to Nigeria. Yeah, security. They don't compromise on security. Nyumbakumi, atutaki, nyumbakumi. Na nyumbakumi, ni usalama wako. Eda Tanzania, sahi. Vuka mpaka wede Arusha. Hile hoteli utalala. Kabla ha uja amka asubuhi special branch watakuwa wamekuja pale wajue mko wangapi mna task ngapi na hata kama hawata wauliza mwenye hoteli lazima ajibu maswali yale umeitisha vipande vya wanatoka wapi wanaenda wapi malaki lot tuliambiwa to make sure we have a list ya wale watu wanakuja kwa nyumba zetu some land lot don't want that Watu wanasema, sirikali inataka kulishika ile, ile, ile tax jalipa. Basi huu kilipa tax basi, usalama. Oh my goodness. So my prayer is that we might not change the constitution. Let it go on. But that issue of security will be given the preeminence. One as if you were saying, the issue of security. The issue of security. You know me, I grew up when I was growing up. When KU in the 70s, there were students in class paid by the Kenya government, by the police. The high school I went to, the both high school I went to, Thika and Machakos, police. Park where I went to park, police and I took on a Na anakuja na uliza, swali na kwanza na uliza. Wewe, atunatoka hindi ya hindi, sama ya recaps na mzima mwena. Sama, nataka uniambie vitu hivuhili. Polisi hiko hapi? Polisi na chief. Uyo kazi yake nini? Polisi na chief. Ule nizoma na ya machakos, hata umetua. Kuruka fence, anaruka. Kuvuta sigara, anavuta. Na hashikwi, kwanza anafanyo tapti. <laughs> Alafu tukitoka na kutana na kangede hapa, hiye ni sergeant wa polisi. Hapa gitu rai. Mbodo. Hendewe, hee. Ona kulia, hee. Hata kulia. Sabu, walikuwa jamao kibuangale unana amenyoa kwa munda. Hii, haku waza kunyoa tukinyoa. Kwa amenyoa kwa munda. <laughs> Kusabu usalama, haki ya usalama wetu is paramount. Kama ujashika, kanisa letu la isi hii, tulikuwa na lugu moja ukamba. Mfupi hivi mwupe. Alikuja, atia meokoka ni kwa mamehamia church. Atia na toka deliverance church makupa. Hei mswa hivi. Jamaa ta hapa kesha hamekuja. Kanisa leto zamani hapa hamekuja, hamerolu marakata. Kwa za nanyambia, pasta, hiyo kanisa ya makupa. Simu ni pen hiyo pasta. Actually, that's how serious it is. Kulala na lala huku kanisani. Kanisani. Na alikuwa meowa, na alikuwa na nyumba kama kuji. Tulijua badaya. How did we go to know? Si watu wanaenda machako. 
After some time, he will be able to do his work. Si ana kutu anavuta sigara na yako na uniform. Mwana wasa? Niaje? Sama nae weyane. Ya, alikuwa kazi. Na kazi indiisha, arundi kuli alikuwa niyati hiyo. What I'm saying is this. The issue of security. We need to be a little bit shut out of them. And there are not issues that you can go talking everywhere about the security that you have. So let's pray for wisdom. Number three what another uh, thing that God gives us is spoken words can exert a spell of influence. Whether we are sharing the gospel or a promise from the scripture, that atmosphere is, can change or is charged by the power of God's word. That word, the word that we speak, if it is energized by faith, that word is charged Bless the name of the Lord. Whether we are sharing the gospel is charge. For example, Jesus just said, peace, and there was calmness in the water. And, he, and Peter says, can I come? And the Lord says, come. Words have power and influence to cause certain things to happen. Words. Words. May the Lord release to us words that can influence the people around us. Influence them in the right direction. Influence them in the, in the good way. And then finally, God's miraculous power can exact a sphere of influence. I think about the challenge that Kenya has, the church will have to rise up. Of course, every, every now and then the newsmen are quoting our bishop and even bringing a caption of him. When he said, Jesus only said, if you slap me one side, and then I give you the other one. He never said what I should do thereafter, which is true. But you know what that they're trying to say? He wants to incite people. I think so. That's what they, they are trying to say. Then Karanja said, don't push people so far. Don't push the Christians so far. It's a point. Because if everywhere the people that are killed are worshipping, then they are killed, then for sure the church leaders should say something. But we are praying that God of grace. Like he saved some of those. You know, have you listened to the testimony of some of the people that God saved out of the massacre there? Even one that rolled in the blood that was in the same hall and appeared dead and shot three times. Now, some were shot once they died. Others were shot twice and they died. This guy was shot three times and he never died. We're talking about those kind of miraculous happenings that God can bring our way so that he does not only cover me but he also protect my children wherever they are. The blood that covers me covers them too, wherever they are. The God of miracles. Hallelujah. The God of miracles. The God of miracles. The God of miracles. In reality, every time a person gets saved, that's really a miracle. But I'm talking about miracles. Where the Lord does something that you feel, indeed, if it was not the Lord, all my effort would not have, have done it. This has taken a miracle. Bless the name of the Lord. Miracle. 82% of people that were polled one time, they said they believed in miracles from the power of the Lord. Believed in the miracles of the power of the Lord. God needs to do miracles for us. And God's miracles are not limited to salvation only. God's miracle can happen even where we live. God of miracle. Oh, we'll never forget this miracle that happened when we were opening our church here. Our church, we started by crusades and we preached for two weeks. In the middle of the two weeks, we started the church. In the last day of the crusade, we opened the church. So we started in October, but we opened on the 4th of November. But that day, actually, 
this what I told you that. Mimi sijakuwa ordained ile ordination inafanyagwa. Sio shida. Kwa sababu niliuliza nina ordainiwa niwe nini na nitapata nini. Baba kosa hasa. Because to me I was ordained on the 4th. I don't know whether Collins and Bruce can remember what happened. When they were laying hands on me, a drunkard that we had prayed for for those 14 days, who had left his family with toddlers here in Zimmerman, came to church. When they were laying hands on me, he just came to the front to get saved. Now we did not know, but he came and the wife was seated. The, the wife that we were praying, oh, when I had you know, was up to see the mama at Maubi and Nigeria to die by fire by thunder. Mumawa, Apana, as it moved by thunder, Arepe by fire by thunder. See, Mama, the owner, Boak. Now, your mama, she did not walk. I'm telling you the truth. She never walked. The Spirit of the Lord lifted her up and above the heads of everybody. She came and knocked her husband down. The counter to be seen and a shanga. The Kamambia, what channel? How are we? We are all pale. How the what? We are penana. Now to me, the seal of my ministry happened then. So when they told me four years after that they want to pray for me, I asked for what? Because I said, if it is a seal of the ministry, the anointing came that day, and I am. So when they come back in 19, is it 2000? They were to me a certificate. Like, young we may say, you are 2000. Actually, 2000, 2000. To my office. I'm not saying so that we don't know David. We will, actually. Actually, this year, if it goes well, we will take this guy and a few others. Because we want to set him apart. But for me, I was set apart then. Bibi nilipo abuka, ni hawa wili wana pendana, niliwekerea mikono, na huyu akaomba, akaokoka, wakakaa chini, kanisa letu likajaa. The following day likajaa. Kwa nini? Kwa ujiza. Miracle. God of miracle. Hapa ni naabiwa ni imetunjua mulaika. Miracle. Miracle. Oh, that we can pray that God every morning we will walk in miracles. Amen. Amen. That matatu that I'm going to get, I get it when I want it, I want that miracle. When I'm looking for a job, I knock that door and that door, and finally the Lord opens that door for me, and I walk through miraculously. Amen. Amen. That God can cause me to live in the miraculous. One as if you son. May that thing that you are praying for, miraculously, fall upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm saying, may God send messengers to you to connect you to your destiny. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. May someone be, come to push you. I know some of you have angels that are pushing you, but you are so stubborn. Ukisukuma unamuangalio, unamulizo unanisukuma, wakweja kunisukuma. Ino, misukume saiti. You know, because as you are pushed and stretched, you cannot get back there. Once that they have left, you remain a different kind of a person. Bless the name of the Lord. We have to allow the influence that comes from the Lord to fall upon us and to fall us. Just like that young police officer I shared about at the beginning, who immediately after graduation, Alitua Akonal authority. May the Lord release that authority upon us even today. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, four facets of influence that you have for us, it all starts with you filling us with the Holy Spirit. And dear Father, if there is something that we need today, it is the joy of prophecy, the joy of promise. The book of Acts, 
promise that Peter echoed that all of us be filled with the spirit of the living God. I want us to stand and lift up our hands to the Lord. We want to tell him to fill us afresh. That God can give us a week of influence, but it starts with the anointing that we receive from our God. Anointing for Just lift up your hands. Anointing for me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing for me. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord praise in the house. 